and we're back with another video you guys let's go ahead and start this thing and take it out and then we're gonna end up writing in that so without further ado let's get right into this video Look at that beauty, you guys. Damn. All right, let's go ahead and take it on a spin. Let's go ahead and get this video started. It's been so long since I've actually driven this car. And plus, it's on springs now, so if you guys, like, see the car bounce a little bit more, it's because track mode actually works a lot more than it used to back then. Back then it was only the steering wheel, now it's actually the whole ride quality of the car works again. Now that it has back ride back on. feels so healthy like there's nothing that like I, I, I don't know how to explain it to you guys but there's a little like you know a little I'd say like ooh, nice Mustang right there but there's just a tiny bit that I still have to like make perfect with the car because there's something still that's a tiny bit loose and I don't like that but other than that the car is back to how I used to feel when it's stock and we're gonna take this yellow Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. I got a cool surprise for you, for this car and for uh it's a like a a little mod that I'm like really excited to show you guys when I when I get here obviously I feel like you guys are gonna really enjoy it yo look at this thing right here look at the Camaro there's a lot of wind like I'm sorry for the quality of the of the sound but man I'm gonna give you guys a montage of this thing it looks so nice and you know now that we uh, moved out here it's gonna be like constant battle with that because it's a lot windy windier out here than it was back in my hometown so without further ado you guys let me go get you guys some monta montage and let me go get some pictures of the car and we'll probably bring out the mustang or do something to the mustang maybe i have like i have a couple things in mind that i want to do to the mustang so let's go ahead and do that
All right, you guys, so I'm gonna cut it short here, uh, bringing the car and recording outside because um, the wind is like very strong right now. And because of that, I don't want it to mess up the audio. And I do want to show you some things that the car is missing. And um, I also want to like share some of my plans with the car. And I'm gonna just go back to the garage and film it there. And we can even tackle what we were gonna do to the Mustang or maybe not today, maybe we will, who knows. But um, either way, if we wanna see you guys back in the garage, cause I can't really film with all this wind. The audio is just gonna be very bad and I don't want that. So let's go back to the garage real quick. All right, you guys, so we're back in the garage and there's a couple things that I wanna mention that are gone from the car, quote unquote gone. And that's gonna be the fact that my little like uh, rear diffuser winglets, uh, extensions, whatever you guys wanna call them, those things were trashed. Um, somebody stepped on them, cracked one of them, and I took off the other one because it was pretty much getting the same age and oldness. And then uh, an accident happened here in the rear. It wasn't caused by me. So uh, those two things I, I am going to have to fix. As well as the window tint on that side, I am going to have to like get it retinted because it's not currently tinted. The car still needs front tires. And I still need to do, again, like I said, a couple adjustments to the suspension because it's built, missing a shock bolt that holds the shock into place and it's always popping it out and i'm tired i'm like sick and tired of hearing this thing sound like crap when i'm on the road so i gotta get that as soon as possible um and yeah i think that's gonna be pretty much it for the camaro um i hope you guys enjoyed those little clips i'm gonna go ahead and bring them bring in the bullet start prepping it because i do want to bag that thing and um we're gonna use some of the parts that i used on this car from that car no from this car onto the bullet so let me bring in the bullet real quick all right, you guys, so I have to update you. I ended up <laughs> getting, you know, in my crazy little moods and I ended up tearing the whole like bag system, the management system and the air, all of that out of the Camaro. So we have this big old mess now. I have to clean it up, vacuum it, but at least everything's out. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together how it was and put everything organized because tomorrow I might be selling the bags already to somebody. And if not, if anybody's interested in these bags, please let me know. You can email me at sn995xo at gmail.com or follow me on Instagram and you guys can DM me about the, the bags, whatever. Um, I'm only going to actually tell the price to people who are uh, very serious. And they're not the best bags, but it is airlift management. So if you guys want it, let me know. All right. And take a look at the beauty of this engine bay. Like I'm not saying like it's the cleanest or, you know, the best detailed ever, but it lo it does look really clean. It does have no more oh well besides that but it has like no fingerprints no watermarks no dirt no dust no nothing shout out to my dad for helping me and the engine bay looks really clean really good i do want to take off the cover but i'm waiting probably just until i i can get like a msd intake or uh sorry manifold right air intake manifold i think that's what it's called and got the k9 i, I do want to go for like a rotofab down the line but i love the way this thing like it hisses and whines when you're uh, stepping on the gas sounds really good Give you guys another look look at the beauty of this carbon you guys that looks so sick And I was gonna actually detail the front wheels on like in this video, but I'm not gonna lie I kind of want to do something else Maybe go ahead and rest because I haven't rested all week and you know We've been taking care of a lot of projects here, but perhaps next video I'll wash and detail like the whole like outer Camaro don't mind a sweater I just put it there so that I can you know, open the door for my Mustang without having to, you know, hit anything from my car. But yeah, you guys, like I was saying earlier, I'm going to go ahead and close this. All right. And as I was saying, you know, we are going to detail the Camaro maybe. And I'm holding off on the Mustang because I'm going to be using it for, uh, you know, taking trips to San Jose and stuff like that. Because I no longer live in the Bay Area, as I mentioned before, I think in the previous video. And so, with that being said, I kind of wanted to like, you know, just like use it. And then once I'm done using it, I'll just park it here next to the cami and they'll both be, you know, like garage queens for a quick bit until I start getting, you know, like bagging my whole grind with them. I'm gonna be making a lot more content within this week. So you're gonna see another video very soon. And I can't wait to keep filming. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button and like, comment, share, whatever you guys wanna do. And until next video.